Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today we're talking Grace and Frankie, Season 1, Episode 2, The Credit Cards. You guys have been so wonderful. I got so many awesome comments just doing that first episode that so many of you asked me to continue, so here we are. So my thought on this is, sure, let's keep going. I love this show. I'll talk about it as much as you want. And we'll just see how it goes. I'll put out an episode here and there as often as I can, and we'll just keep talking about it. So leave me comments below. Every single comment helps. I really appreciate them all. Okay. So I'm very excited to announce another project I've been working on. You know my favorite saying, if you've watched and just like that, you understand where this is coming from. This is a load of pants. It's my favorite saying now. It's something we discovered just to describe anything that's awful, <laughs> uh, especially in just like that. Anything like, I just love that saying so much. It seriously is my favorite. So guys, I put it on a shirt, I put it on some stickers, I put it on a coffee mug. So I am linking below, this is the first time I'm doing that, um, just to try it out to see if you guys are interested in some merch. Check out the link below, click in the description, you'll see it. I'll try to put it in the comments as well. Uh, so just give it a click if that's something you're interested in. I think it's so much fun. I did some fun colors, boys, I mean, available in, in unisex, available in a variety of sizes. So be sure to check that out so we can all wear This Is A Load Of Pants merch. And if it's something that you end up picking up, please let me know in the comments because I really do want to make a big deal about it. I think it'd be so cool if we had our own cool little merch like this. Okay, so this episode starts out in my beautiful beach house. Shouldn't we have a meetup here? I think this is so beautiful. Um, so it starts out with Grace and Frankie. They're still reeling. Of course, first episode, that's when... Robert and Saul drop the bomb that they are getting together. So after like 40 years of marriage, they left Grace and they left Frankie. And so Grace is talking about, you know, which she may wash her hair today. She's not sure. Frankie's really reeling as well and saying she doesn't feel like a person and she wants to crawl into a hole for a month. You guys, I love them. I do. I love the show. I love how they are together. I think the writers did an excellent job showing, you know, we said it before, women of a certain age and ha them taking care of each other. And you really find yourself rooting for them. There's Robert and Saul. They're in bed trying to figure things out as well. Um, they're going to have breakfast, go to work, remember they do work together. And they're going to figure out how to deal with all this. So Saul keeps calling Frankie. Frankie won't take the call. Grace is banging her head against the wall. She's getting very annoyed for the Frankie. We see a lot of differences, of course, between Grace and Frankie, which again, to me, just makes the writing so fun on the show. It's fun to see Grace's personality juxtaposed against Frankie's. Uh, I just love them both. I love the way they have them dressed. I love, I love this house. I'm obsessed with it. That kitchen is so beautiful to me with that blue. Obsessed. Okay. So they get a phone call and it's their friend, Amanda. Amanda's coming over. It's actually Frankie's friend, Amanda, coming over. Grace is not having it. She's not up for visitors, but Amanda's coming anyway. Meanwhile, Grace, again, handling things different than Frankie, she sneaks over and calls Mallory. She says, Mallory, there's people in my house. Can you believe it? Grace just is not into having people over. So she's trying to talk to Mallory. Mallory's a busy mom. She can't. It's just hard for her. You can tell there's a lot going on. There's a lot of backstory they haven't quite filled in yet that we'll learn as we go. But uh, so Grace is really struggling with all this. The friends come over and they're hugging Frankie. And I love that one of them says, do you want a vent or scrapbook? I don't know what that just cracks me up. Like that sounds if I'm ever having a bad day, you could say that to me because that would actually make sense. Do I want a vent or do I want a scrapbook? It just depends. Sometimes I'm feeling creative. Sometimes I'm just pissed off. So Grace says that Brianna texted her and <laughs> she, <laughs> oh, this made me laugh. So Brianna, of course, is her daughter. Brianna is the little bit wilder one, whereas Mallory is like more together with her family and stuff. But Brianna texted her, sup, biatch. <laughs> Grace said it took her. 20 minutes to text back, wrong biatch. So the friends decide they need to take Grace and Frankie out to lunch, and they are trying to help them with what to do with this whole divorce thing and the attorney and how to handle that. We find out, so we know that 
of course, the husbands are divorce attorneys. Uh, Robert has been a divorce attorney. I think he said his whole ador- adult life. So we find out his mother was Irish, so he's afraid of Irish women. So Grace is looking at hiring. I oh Gosh, I wish I'd written down her name. I can't find it. But uh, it was a very Irish sounding name, which made me laugh. So they go to pay for the meal at the end of the dinner. And Grace's credit card is declined. And it's weird. And she says, oh, no, he wouldn't. And she said, that bastard, try yours to Frankie. And Frankie does not get what she's talking about. She doesn't want to pay for lunch. She said, our friends will pay for it. Uh, Finally, Grace has to explain, listen, Robert cut off my credit card. And I need you to try to pay. So Frankie tries to pay. Same thing. So we go between, we're going between them and we go over to Robert and Saul. And Saul is freaking out, telling Robert, you shouldn't, I shouldn't have let you convince me to do this. And, and Robert's trying to make him feel better saying, listen, you tried to call Frankie. She's not answering your call. So that's why he kept calling her before. Saul's saying he has a terrible feeling. So let's talk about this for a second. We find out what's going on is you have to do this until I guess something is served and you guys work it out. So no big purchases are made. I say, this is total BS. They are both divorce attorneys. They should know better how to handle this. Why didn't they talk to the ladies? It made me indignant for Grace and Frankie. But again, I like seeing them. It gave them a reason to band together and to look out for each other and to try to figure out how they're going to handle all this. So Amanda's been through this a bunch with attorneys. So she's saying you need to go take possession of your home so they can't take they can't kick you out of it. So things are already getting nasty. We see we go over to Bud, who is talking to Robert and Saul. And Robert is trying to convince them this is a good idea, what they've done about locking them out of the credit cards. Saul calls Frankie, and this was my favorite part of the episode. Frankie picks up and says, fuck you, Saul. I'm going to my house. So she, she's going to the marital home that she and Saul um, you know, have always had. Now, in case you missed the first episode, the house that the ladies are staying at is the beach house, which the couples jointly got together under advisement of Robert as it being a good investment. But we find out, no, it was a love shack for them. They were secretly meeting up there. So Grace calls Mallory and says, you've got to bring me some stuff. You've got to get in my car and get it over here to me. So the idea is she's sick of Frankie. She wants Frankie to go live at the marital home she shared with Saul. And then that way she'll be free to have the beach house to herself. She gives a list to Mallory of what to bring. And then we see Mallory and Brianna show up to the house. And some of my favorite scenes are the ones that Brianna are in. I think it's just, she, her, her humor, I really get. I think it's so funny. I love June Diane Raphael. Um, they show up to the house and they figure out... French toast is still on the table and dad can't cook. So Saul must be staying at the house. So then we go over to Coyote, who is talking to Bud. Coyote is a high school teacher. Bud calls. Mom's upset about the divorce stuff. Of course, their mom is Frankie. And he explains Saul is going to go over and try to talk to her. But Robert is coming with him. So then that makes Coyote perk up like, oh, crap, I need to help out. She's going to freak out. We promised to be there, but Bud can't leave work, so I really need you to go. We find out a little bit more about about Coyote. Of course, we know he struggles with addiction, but we find out he has 214 more days where he's not allowed to drive a car. So Bud's going to send him a car to go help out his mom. Meanwhile, Saul and Robert are at the house, and uh, (laughs) Frankie had a line where she said, you got a box from Zappos, so I ran over it. Grace and Robert say, hi, it's awkward, it's strained. Robert says, I came with Saul. She says, thanks a lot for the heads up on the credit card. And he says, you know how this works? She has a great line. Again, I got to point out the writers are so much better on this show than that and just like that crap. She says, "It's this is really hard. We can beat each other up and make this awful or painful, but we don't want that. This isn't your client's witch wife or some psycho husband I'm the one on the other side of the table. You have to handle this. So he finally softens and understands, it seems, that he's been a pill through this. And that was a wrong move. So it sounds like they're coming to a truce. Okay, 
Mallory and Brianna have Grace's stuff. They show up and Coyote arrives right around the same time. I, I thought this was so funny. Of course, he has a driver. Here's the car that they brought up. I was laughing, thinking, well, that could just as easily be Frankie's car. It just, it just made me laugh. So they figure out, so we figure out something went down and they haven't said it yet exactly that Coyote did something real bad at Mallory's house. They refer to something he did that night. Uh, Brianna's trying to stir it up and get him to talk about it. They won't talk about it, but it's bad. And he says he doesn't remember much, but that the cops arrived and that there was a car mishap involved. Meanwhile, Bud arrives. Coyote says, what are you doing here? You told me to take care of this. So clearly it's just building up the dynamic that Bud looks out for Coyote. Nobody trusts Coyote fully. Um, and it's interesting to see the dynamic before all four, between all four kids. Grace and Robert, they're trying to work out who gets what. Grace really wants the beach house. She says Robert can take the other house. He tries to argue, but then he stops himself and agrees he's an asshole. Mallory, clearly there's something going on in her marriage. We see it here. It's Mitch is her husband. He's a doctor. He he rolls up to the, to the was it Grace's, sorry, Frankie's house, and he has the kids, and she's like, yeah, you're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to take them back to our house. So it's a total miscommunication. He didn't understand. She's clearly a little bit peeved with him. Coyote tries to apologize for whatever it is he did. Mitch rolls up the window, drives away. And that's that. Saul is telling Frankie that he completely effed up. He's trying to do this right. And he wants to do this fair, fairest way possible. Then we see Robert and Saul leave. Grace tells Coyote that his mom, Frankie, was great today. And, he, and talked about how she'd have to be strong for what you've put her through. Talking about Coyote's past. So this is so fun for me because I've only seen these episodes once and it was a long time ago. So I honestly don't remember what he did. So I'm learning it as I watch this too. I can't remember, but it's it's been really fun. So he's going through a lot. And then we realize that Frankie's actually really struggling now. Grace initially lost it. Frankie held it together, but now Frankie's completely losing it. So Grace thinks she's going to make a beeline out of there and go back to the beach house. But alas, she feels terrible. She waits for Frankie and we cut to the beach house and she's brought Frankie home with her. So Frankie is being Frankie, sitting up on the table, chanting loudly in this very deep voice. And I just love this show so much. I love the dynamic between the two of them. I really root for them. And I'm just excited to see where else this show goes. It's just so fun. It's so it's just, a, it's just fun to watch. I really do. I enjoy the writing. I enjoy everything about it. the sets, the outfits. It's everything that I wanted from it just like that. Yes, I keep bringing that up, but I'm still pissed about it. Anyway, that's it for the episode, you guys. I really enjoy recapping this. If you want to keep going, I'll keep going. Just let me know in the comments below. Every single comment helps. So hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. It really does help my channel grow. Tell your friends about me. Um, check out my Patreon if that's something you're interested in. I'm recapping the original Sex in the Ser City series. I'm also doing Carrie Diaries over there. All kinds of stuff. Check that out. You just have to type in patreon.com backslash real housewives recaps. All one word. Thank you guys for everything. I really appreciate it. Do check out the merch if that's something you're interested in. Link below. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Take care. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Bye-bye.